I just introduce myself here. Uh, my name is Chris. I work here at Obsessed Garage. You may have seen me on the podcast live stream on YouTube by co-host with Matt. Um, and recently people have been asking and he's been saying we need to do an updated uh, tour of OGHQ. And so we're here in Lady Lake, Florida. It is Friday afternoon, uh, April the 12th. And so this is our, our storefront, for lack of a better word. Um, there was an awning up here, but then we came in one day this week and it's no longer there. So we're pretty sure that somebody yanked it and took off with it. Um, there were some, there was a cop here a few weeks ago who asked us some questions. Some guy was in here doing a drug deal in the parking lot or something. So it's a very nice place we have here. Um, here's our, our front door. Those of you who have been here before, you might uh, recognize that. That's kind of all that lets people know we're here. So I'm going to take you on a, a little tour here. We'll start in uh, the vestibule, if you will. So this is Bryce's setup here. And Bryce is working on this prototype bottle uh, designed to hold five gallons, I believe. It's something like 48 inches tall and uh, made from some sort of polyurethane slash aluminum slash titanium mix i don't know what it is but uh and then over here ryan is working on some some updated og merchandise ryan's doing some graphic designing what are you working on here ryan oh we got a new uh toyota camry shirt for the camry outside and we're also doing nice. a nice toyota line as well to keep up with that theme that's very nice i'm sure matt's gonna love this stuff yes. when he gets back so be looking in the uh in the store for that soon our toyota line the camry We'll talk more about that in a minute. It's a fine vehicle. Um, so Bryce is here. Ryan's here. We'll come around this way. This is the uh, the podcast studio that kind of used to be Matt's office. Now it's more my office. Uh, the reason we're doing this tour now, actually, Matt's out in California. So this is a good time to do it because now you can see kind of the real OG, the way things are. Um, this I try to keep the desk looking clean. It's maybe a little messy now. Matt posts all these pictures when it's all perfect and there's nothing on the desk. Um, and that just means he's not actually doing any work, I guess, because there's nothing on the desk. So, you know, we got a lot. We got our safety manual we've been working on here, so we're official. Uh, these are some new hats that we're, we're working on, picking out the colors, um, some of those new designs with that Toyota logo right here. Um, and then this is all those press all bottles. We'll get to that in a minute, but they came in, so there's a lot of paperwork on that. Uh, we got. The, I think that's like a 46 inch monitor right there that's got uh, the masters playing and then over here most of the time it's Wu-Tang playing on repeat on YouTube um, so if you're wondering maybe why your orders don't get shipped in a timely manner it's probably because we're in here having a little party we do that on Friday sometimes um, so this is this is my work area and uh, Matt's got all his degrees and diplomas up here but I kind of it's become my space now I guess so we'll continue out this way. Oh God, this is kind of the, the main part of the warehouse. And uh, here's some of our buckets. Some of you might have those uh, buckets at your house. The good thing, one of the good things I like here about Perk, we have working OG. Randomly, you know how mad is because he likes to snack. He likes to eat. So most days, randomly throughout the warehouse, you can find his food. This is more of the healthy section. So I don't know if Matt put this here. This is probably Michelle, actually. So we got some fruit. Let's take a little scoop of that. Um, let's go over here. You see, we got our Rupes polisher lineup here. Lots of Adams. Uh, some bead maker there on the shelf. Um, if you come over here. This is the. I like to always take people back here because this is. I call it the Great Wall of Towels. We have a lot of different towels here. Um, each of them kind of has their own use and people can, when they come visit, they touch and they feel like, oh, what does this one feel like? What does that one feel like? Uh, down here we got the t-shirts. We got lots of hoses. It looks like a lot, but it's really not because we're kind of running low. You guys buy a lot of hoses, which is awesome. Uh, foam can is down there at the end, some boxes. Uh, one thing I will say about these towels, let me, excuse me, the towels. This one is my favorite. It's the uh, large waffle drying towel. Look how big this bad boy is. Ooh. I think this is like $16.95 or something in the store. Even if you don't wash your car, it's uh, you can take it to the gym. I have one at the gym. You can, if you got a little something running down your face, just wipe it off, throw it over your shoulder, you're good to go. So, I recommend this towel. I'm not sure about the rest of them. I'm sure they're great, but this is my favorite. Um, you see the, we got the air compressor here. Now one thing, if you look over here, you see the subs. 
Matt did a video where he built one of them. And then he ordered three more for some reason and made Bryce finish putting those together. Um, so we really want a microwave here at OGHQ. And Matt keeps griping, ah, we don't need a microwave, we don't have room for a microwave. So I did my research. The average microwave is 2.2 cubic feet. The average giant obnoxious unnecessary, excuse me, unnecessary subwoofer is about 97 cubic feet. So we have plenty of room for four of these, but no microwave. So who knows? Uh, then over here, of course, we have all this counter space. We got this a great power strip that would be great for a microwave, but can't have it there because we got to have all this ceramic rack wax. Got to have some Expo markers, no microwave there, and then plenty of McGuire's product that he's going to be testing. Um, up on the wall, there's a pretty cool piece. Uh, a guy named Leo, who lives here in Florida, owns a CrossFit gym. He built that for Matt, which is pretty cool. Now, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. Matt doesn't know that I know about this, but this is his little snack area. So, when he's on his, his latest diet, but he really, you know, he's got to have something where he can come and eat when nobody's looking. This is the place where that goes. So if you're ever here at OGHQ, always check this. There's usually zebra cakes. Today it's Chick-fil-A chocolate chip cookies. Um, let's see, we got some Sun Joes here. Those of you who are interested in the press-all bottles, we'll talk about that for a second. Um, and again, we're, we're kind of outgrowing this space, you know, a lot of times. Uh, people, when you see it in the video, this space supposedly looks pretty big. And then when we have people come visit, they talk about how small it really looks. And it looks especially small because we have so much stuff here today. Um, so these are all the, the press-all bottles, which look like this. Um, so hopefully those will be up in the store. I think next week is the goal to get them going in the store. Um, one other thing here before we get too far. Since we don't have a microwave, uh, sometimes what we'll do if we have like maybe some pizza or some chicken, needs to be reheated. Plug in the scan grip, crank it up to 10. Bring it down real close. Set your pizza there for about 25, 30 minutes, and you're good to go. It'll be nice and warm. You can have yourself some lunch. Um, so I want to show you. This is one of the press all bottles we're getting in, and uh, this, of course, if you can't see it there. It has bead maker, and bead maker's kind of kind of a big deal to some people. So I want to take you and show you one of the perks of working here at uh, OG is you know we can Matt has all this products on his shelf and. Uh, we get new stuff into samples, so I want to show you this little experiment I'm conducting here. Come out here. Ooh, it's bright. So this is the Camry. Uh, you might remember the Camry from that shirt Ryan's been working on for a couple weeks now. And uh, this is the, the original 2005 Camry that he modeled the shirt after. This is my ride. So, yesterday when I got home, uh, it was a little bit later. It was wet outside, my hands were full, so when I shut the door, I didn't shut it all the way. And so I just kind of put my foot up there to kick it closed, and it's a little dirty as you can tell. So I got some, some bead maker here, and what we're going to do is a little, little research science experiment. Matt's going to appreciate this. I'm going to report my findings. Just soak that down with some bead maker, maybe a few extra spritzes there, and uh, we'll see how that goes. I'll leave that overnight, and uh, then maybe tomorrow top it off with some colonite and... Uh, Maybe some eraser. We'll see how that turns out. Um, yeah, I just like to do a little. And Matt's right when he says you need to buy a gallon because you're gonna you're gonna use a lot. He's right. So I'll just do that, and I'll report back in a day or two. Let you know how that turns out. Um, also, you know, this is how big we're getting or how small we're getting. But inside, because we have so much stuff, we've got these are some Cox hose reels that are sitting here, and uh, just don't have room for them inside right now. So once UPS comes, picks up. All those boxes, we'll put these inside and get those going out the door to you soon. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Just a brief tour. I'm sure Matt will want to do something maybe a little more in-depth soon, but this is how things look at OG. Um, maybe a little different when he's not around, but pretty much the same because this is kind of how it goes. So thanks for joining us, and uh, I'll talk to you again sometime soon.